Hi, today we're going to see how to change object colors in GIMP. I will put the link of this image in the description box. So first we need to make selection of the object we want to change the colors to. So I'm going to select this sofa here. So I'm going to use the path tool for that. So select the path tool. You can use any selection tools you want. So press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in here, like this, to be more precise. Here, and now I'm going to start the selection. And now I'm almost done. I just need to link the last path with the first one. So keep the control key down here and then left click on the first one. So here it is. And now press enter to create selection from the path here. So here it is. If you want to remove this path, just select another tool. So like this. So now I'm going to show you three methods to change colors in game. So I'm going to duplicate this layer three times. So here, first time, second time. This one, I'm going to name it hue, press enter. So here, second one, I'm going to name it colorize, press enter. And the last one, I'm just going to name it layers. Here, press enter. So I'm going to hide the layers and the colorize layers here. So I'm just going to select the hue one, this one here. So for this one, go to colors to change the color, go to colors. So I'm going to duplicate again this one here in order to see the original. And now go to colors, hue and saturation. So now as you can see, so you have the master here. This, when you click on this one here, it will control all the colors. So if I click on the red here, you will be able only to change the color of the red colors here in, uh, in your layers. So I'm going to select the master one. So the hue controls the colors. Lightness controls the lightness. So here darker or brighter. And the saturation controls the intensity of the color. And now if you want to reset to go back to the original layer here, so just click on reset. The advantage of this method is that you can target colors individually. For example, for this one, I'm going to select this blue, this sky blue here. So for example, I'm going to select this blue here. So here, if I try to change, as you can see, it doesn't change anything. But if I select this blue color, if I select here, so as you can see, it changes the color. So here like this. So here it is. So that's how you can change the colors using the hue and saturation method. So I'm going to press OK here to confirm. Make sure to keep the selection here. So now I'm going to select the colorize method. So select the colorize here layer. So go to colors and then colorize. And with this method as before, so here's the hue. You'll be able to control the colors here, type of colors. Saturation for the intensity of the color. And the lightness as before, the brightness to brighten or darken is the color here. And now the advantage of this colorize method is that if you can pick color here from the background here, so as you can see, it selects big area here, or just if you left click here on the color, you can just choose what color you want. So here, I'm going to select this blue or this one. This is the advantage of the colorize method. So I'm, I think I'm going to leave it with this blue, press OK, and then press OK to confirm. So here's the colorize and the hue copy. This is the original. And now for the last one, so select the layers. Make sure you're still on the selection. Selection is always active. So for this one, we need to create a new layer. So click on this icon here to create a new transparent layer. Fill it with transparency and then press OK. And now we're going to fill this layer here, this selection here on the transparent layer with the color we want to change here object. So I'm going to left click on the foreground color. So let's say I'm going to select the red color. So press OK. And now I'm just going to drag the foreground color. So here on the layer. And now I just need to play with the layer modes. So select here mode. And now just select the LCH color, 
So here like this, you can still, for example, use the opacity here or the HSL color. Just select different modes here. We'll get different effects here. So the HSL color and the LCH color are the ones that work good here, better. So here, as you can see, the hue it will change completely. So it's up to you. So I'm going to leave it in the HSL. And the advantage of this method here is that you can apply gradients on the objects you want to change the color to. So for example, if I select the gradient tool, I'm going to select another gradient here. So I'm going to, I think, select the golden one, this one here. So here like this. And now the shape is linear. The gradient is golden. So here I'm just going to change it. So here, press enter. So as you can see, or for example, I'm going to select another one. Let's say I will select this deep sea here. So here, as you can see, with the other methods, you can't apply gradients. So this method is useful if you want to change, for example, materials. So for example, golden earrings to silver earrings or the opposite. So I'm going to confirm this one here, even though it's ugly. So here, now, so I'm going to drag the red color. It's much better. And then right click new from visible. It's better to do this so that you can change other colors. For, for example, I will select this blue color and then I will just drag it on the layer here with the, the color here. So I'm going to hide these ones here. So here's the transparent layer. So I'm going to drag the blue color, for example. So here it is. And here's the one we did before. So I'm going to deselect. So I'm going to remove the selection. So go to select none. So here it is. That's how you can change object colors in game. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and uh, till next time.